Today we're going to do a unboxing of a new egret and I'm going to also at the same time show you uh, what we're doing here. So while we're doing this quick video to unbox egret, I'm going to start an egret cycle on my already opened egret. So you can just watch that kind of in the corner. So the egret comes in a nice box that is recommended to keep. It's got a handle and a very sturdy uh, structure so you can use it like a little suitcase for your egret so that you can make it portable, take it with you on the road or you can just leave it in your closet. I suggest keeping the box. Very heavy duty uh, foam packaging. Inside the box you will find a uh, USB-C cable and a salt teaspoon, egret instructions in both English and French for the Canadian market. You will have an egret unit wrapped in plastic and uh, you'll notice that there's another little cutout but there's really nothing else in the box so we'll put that aside. You're gonna take your hand, left hand and right hand and turn clockwise. It can be difficult to get off the first time, it's tight. There's a little silicone bag on the inside which we do recommend that you keep for long-term storage. You will notice that in the bag there's a USB-C cable and a salt spoon. The USB-C cable plugs into the bottom of the handle, like so. And the USB, you're going to plug into at least a five volt charger. So the little chargers that you can find sometimes with your iPhone or your Samsung phone, make sure that it's got adequate power supply. If it doesn't, then we also do sell an adapter separately, but most people already have the adapters. And if you happen to lose the cord, we also need to make sure that you're using a proper USB cord that is for high speed data transfer, a USB with a type C end on it. You can buy them on Amazon or we do sell them on our store. If you happen to lose the scoop, it is a five gram or one teaspoon of salt scoop. So again, we unscrew this. We will put the water up to the maximum fill line or just below the maximum fill line indicated on here. We will take one scoop of salt and dump it in. And then you will hit the button on the top. So after the unit's fully charged, which takes two to three hours, you unplug it and then you're good to go. So you can see we have nothing plugged in. It's all unplugged and it's just being, it's just been generating our electrolyzed water. And after three minutes, the cycle will end and you will be able to make use of your machine. But even after one minute, you've already got uh, a good amount of uh, free available chlorine and you can start to use it for cleaning. So you're going to just press this blue button and you'll notice a nice fine mist coming out. So you can spray your surfaces and you can leave them to dry or if it's like a countertop like I just sprayed right now, I might leave it for three or more minutes in order for the free available chlorine to do its duty. When you're done with the unit, you can shut the button off. Every time you turn it back on though, you will notice it starts blinking and it will start a new three minute cycle, which will make the solution even stronger. Once you've done no more than three of these cycles, we do not want you to go any further. We do not want any more than 200 parts per million of free available chlorine, which is very, very effective in the hypochlorous zone in the electrolyzed water zone. You don't have to know all the science behind electrolyzed water. You can read the many studies to understand how it works. But we do wanna keep the pH level low and the free available chlorine under 200 parts per million for the type of uh, cleaning that we're going to be doing with this machine. This will actually go for three more minutes and it'll keep electrolyzing the water. After three minutes, it'll turn a solid blue and you'll have seven more minutes to spray. If you're just turning it on and ready to spray from the beginning to the end, the whole cycle is 10 minutes and it will shut off on its own and you have to start a new cycle, which will again start the generator. If you're going to go over three cycles, we recommend you dump the fluid 
Either just dispose of it and get another teaspoon of salt or transfer it to a spray type container where you can keep it for about another four days. If you want it to last a little bit longer, you will add one quarter of a teaspoon of vinegar to that solution per every 250 milliliters. It stabilizes the pH. Thank you for watching Egret Unboxing.